Hey, Doug, I'm here for Doc Sports, and I'm back with another free pick for you in horse racing on Tuesday. You know what Tuesday means. It means it's two for Tuesday, and I have two best bets coming your way today in horse racing. Uh, coming hit, hit two out of three winners yesterday on the uh, on horse racing. So looking to advance that even further today, see what we can do. And you can get that at the Doug Upstone page right now on the two for Tuesday special for just $25. Okay. Uh, also got a quick story here for you. Thought of this over the weekend. Don't know why I thought exactly other than, well, I actually do know why. It had to do with horse, horse racing. So something a little bit of a different twist. I don't actually believe this story is true, but I think it's such a good story that I, I just wanted to share it with you. It has to do with horse racing. So years ago, I was at a uh, at a bar, and uh, one of my favorite beers to this day, as a matter of fact, is you ready for this? Rolling Rock. Okay, always like that beer. So and and no, I'm not having any this morning. So, but uh, the so I, I go in there and they go up to the bartender. I say, hey, give me a Rolling Rock. He says, hey, you know the story on that beer? And I said, mm, other than uh, Arnold Palmer uh, for, and Latrobe, Pennsylvania, where it was originally brewed at, I said, no, I don't. He goes, well, if you look at the bottle, there's a picture of a horse on the bottle, which which there actually is. Uh, let's see here. You can yeah, you can see that picture of a horse. And then on the back, uh, there's also, if you look about halfway down, there's a number 33. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but so there's so the picture of this horse. And so the story goes, right, is that a, a guy wanted to buy the brewery, the Latrobe Brewery, which is who made Rolling Rock. And so he wanted to buy that. And so, but he was a big horse player. And so uh, he got a tip on a horse, okay, and the horse's odds, as it turns out, were 33 to 1. So he made a big bet on this horse to win at 33 to 1, and it did, which allowed him to buy the Latrobe Brewery. Again, not sure it's true. I never actually looked it up on Google now. I suppose I could, but you know, but you know what? Why ruin a good story? I thought it was an outstanding story, so that's why I wanted to share it with you. I thought it was pretty good. All right. Let's get to today's free pick. We are going to go to Lone Star, okay, in Texas, the fourth race. It's going to be at 4.11 Eastern time. It's going to be a quick one, five furlongs on the dirt, and this one. Now, yesterday, with our free pick, hopefully you came to my page yesterday, gave you another winner, uh, the horse that I picked to finish second, the uh, finish first. And I actually had another one hit the board, but that one I don't count because uh, it's not a true winner. So it makes me 45 out of 58, 77.5% on free picks over almost two months picking winners. So today we're looking at 10 count, uh, 10 count out. Uh, Open is a seven to five favorite and is has four wins in two places in nine starts at shorter distance on dirt. Uh, this horse also has the dynamic connection of Cabrera and Broberg for jockey and trainer, which at Lone Star is extremely difficult to beat. So we agree. Number one, 10 count out to win. Uh, the next is uh, NJ's Brass, who has won two out of three uh, races at two out of three races at similar lengths and distance at, at this uh, at this track as well. And let's finish off today's freebie with Will There's a Way, who is three, three and one. So that's win, place, and show in 10 starts at Lone Star at five to seven furlongs. So we're going to go with a one, three, five connection for our free picks today. I will be back on Wednesday with a golf free pick for you as well. In fact, I'll be working on that very shortly after completing this video. So this is Doug Helms for Doc, Store, Doc Sports. Don't forget, two for Tuesday today, okay? So get there, 25 bucks, get my two best bets, no problem. This is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Until next time, I'm out.